Uh, we both are actors. We play in uh, theater, in Russian drama theater here in Vilnius. And uh, we both have the same passion. This passion is that little musical instrument which is called Jews Harp. Uh, we are not professional musicians, but two years ago we started playing it. And now we play for our pleasure, uh, we perform for public, Sometimes we take part in different musical festivals. Slava taught children in school how to make self-made Jews harp. Uh, in this year, we organized the first Jews harper session here in Vilnius. In our last performance, we combined futuristic Chlebnikov's poetry with Jews harp music. In spite of Jews harp is quite well-known instrument in the world. I'm sure that there are people who still think, hmm, Jews harp, what the f*** is that? <laughs> okay, let's start from its name. This musical instrument is called Jews harp in English. But the thing is that it has nothing in common with Jews, Jewish or Judaism very simple. This name, Jews, came from English word jaw, mouth. So sometimes it's called jaws harp or mouth harp. Perhaps you will be surprised to know that Jews harp almost exists in every nation, in every culture, and it has more than 900 different names. Slava knows all of them. <laughs> For example, Slava, how it's called in China? Kok uh, In India? Morsink. In Russia? Vargan. In Norway? Monharpa. Yes. If we talk about Europe, in Germany it's called? Maultrammel. In France? Gumbarda. In Italy? Maranzano. Maranzano. Maranzano or Scarci Pensiero. No, okay, I will tell you later. Uh, in Hungary, it's called the Romp. And uh, of course, the place where we are here today, in Lithuania, it's called Dambrialis Arba Bandurelis. Yes, Dambrialis. So, Dambrialis, or Jews harp, is known as one of the oldest musical instruments in the world. But no one knows where it actually came from. At first, it was made of uh, wood or bone or something else that you can find in nature. And it has a shape of a little plank and looked somehow like this. Of course, nowadays we made it from credit card. But you can play it, it sounds. Next level was advent of iron. With the advent of iron, Jews harp finally found its original shape. And it sounds exactly the same like many, many ages ago.
Did you know uh, that? Mm, that you hear a sound of Jews harp many times in your everyday life but never realize what it actually is. For example, Tom and Jerry cartoon. This sound appears in almost every episode when Tom Cat is astonished. <laughs> or uh, yes. Or famous Disney, Disney cartoon Win in the Pooh where his character Tigger and when he's jumping on his spiral tail, you can hear also <laughs> Yes, but, but of course, uh, Jews harp, it's not, a, it's not a toy. It's musical instrument and uh, it's not just for fun. Specificity of this musical instrument that the sound goes not from instrument itself, but from the whole body of the one who play on it. You will be surprised to know again uh, that among those who played on Jews harp was such famous people like American President Abraham Lincoln or it was Russian Tsar Peter the Great, Peter I. But if we talk about Russia, in time of Stalinism, Jews harp in Russia was forbidden of its close connection to shamanism. Shamans believe that Jews harp is like a horse which can take you to another world, to the world of spirits. Another interesting fact of Jews harp history is uh, in 1821 German musical instrument maker Friedrich Buschmann invented well-known harmonica, mouth harmonica, which is based on several little juice harps connected together. A bit later, accordion appears, which is made by the same way. As a result, juice harp, this little musical atom, was undeservedly forgotten for some time. Nowadays, interest of Jews harp is increases. Uh, there are many different seminars, master classes, and uh, sessions all over the world. But for most people, it still remains exotic. And we hope it will become less exotic for all of you after our today's performance.
Thank you.